It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be multiplying fractions by whole numbers to solve a real-world problem. Here's our question today. This question has four parts. Two football games were played at a stadium on the same day. Part A. At the start of the first game, three-fourths of the stadium seats were filled with people. At the end of the game, two-thirds of those seats remained filled. We're going to write an equation that can be used to determine P, the fraction of the stadium seats that remained filled with people at the end of the first game. I'd like you to pause the video here, attempt part A, and then come back to see my work. Good luck. Welcome back. So we want to write an equation to find P. So I'm going to start by writing my variable and an equal sign to start my equation. An equation must have an equal sign. It's a statement of equality, and we want to know what P is equivalent to. So now we're going to go back to what our problem started with. At the start of the first game, three-fourths of the stadium seats were filled with people. So we know that three-fourths of the stadium had people in their seats. Now, at the end of the game, two-thirds of those seats remained filled. So we know two-thirds of the three-fourths were filled at the end of the game. So we are now going to understand that when we do this, two-thirds of three-fourths means we're going to multiply. When you did your work, if you happen to do two-thirds multiplied by three-fourths, that's equivalent because multiplication is a commutative operation. So three-fourths multiplied by two-thirds is the same as two-thirds multiplied by three-fourths. So here, when we multiply, order does not matter. So our equation, the answer to part A, is P equals three-fourths multiplied by two-thirds. I would also note here, if you said that this expression was equal to P, that would also be correct. The equal sign can be on the right of the expression of rather than the left. Let's move on to part B. In part B, we're asked what fraction of the stadium seats remained filled with people at the end of the first game. So here they want us to solve the equation that we wrote in part A. I'm going to have you pause the video here, solve your equation from part A, and come back to see my work. Welcome back. So here's our equation from part A. P equals three-fourths multiplied by two-thirds. I'm going to show you two ways to approach this. The first way is I see both the numerator and the denominator of our product have a three, a factor of three in them. So I'm going to simplify. Three divided by three is one. One times two is two. Four times one is four. So multiply the numerators, then multiply the denominators. So I see this can still be simplified. Both the numerator and the denominator have a factor of two. So I'm gonna divide the numerator by two and I'm gonna divide the denominator by two. Two divided by two is one, four divided by two is two, telling me that P, the people in their seats at the end of the first game is one half of the stadium seats. So half the stadium is filled still at the end of the game. Now here's a second way you might have multiplied. You might have multiplied the numerators first, three times two is six, and then multiplied the denominators second, four times three is 12. Notice that both the numerator and denominator have a factor of six, so I'm gonna divide the numerator by six and the denominator by six. Six divided by six is one, 12 divided by six is two. We still come up with that the fraction of the stadium seats that remained filled with people at the end of the game was half. So half the stadium seats were filled at the end of the first game. Moving on to part C. The stadium has 5,000 seats. At the end of the second game, two-fifths of the seats were filled with people. What was the total number of seats that were filled with people at the end of the second game? and you're asked to show or explain how you got your answer. Please pause now, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Welcome back. So here, we're gonna find the total number of seats that were filled at the end of the second game. 
we're told that our stadium has 5,000 seats. So let's start with 5,000. At the end of the second game, two-fifths of the seats were filled with people. So we want to find two-fifths of this 5,000. I'm going to do this problem more visually. So we're understanding that two-fifths means that we're going to have, we want two of five parts because a fraction is a part of a whole. So we're going to take 5,000 and we want to make it five parts. So that's easy. 5,000 five ways is going to be 1,000. 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, five thousands. Now we want to identify the part, which is two parts of this. So two parts of this is 2,000. So two-fifths of 5,000 is 2,000. So that tells us that the total number of seats filled with people at the end of the second game was 2,000 seats. All right, moving on to part D. Workers at the stadium gave posters to one-fourth of the people who were in their seats when the second game ended. What was the total number of people who received posters? And again, we need to show or explain how we get our answer. So go ahead and pause here, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Welcome back. So again, we're finding the total number of people who received posters. And it was given to one-fourth of the people in their seats at the end of the game. We know from part C that there were 2,000 people in their seats at the end of the second game. One fourth of these 2,000 people received posters. So let's do this visually again. We have one, one part of four, four parts for the whole. So I'm going to take this 2,000 and put it into four equal parts. So 2,000 four ways is going to be 500 four times. 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000. So there's our four and we want one of those four parts, which is 500. So one fourth of 2,000 is 500. So 500 people received posters at the end of the second game. You could have also multiplied you could have understood that that was 2,000 divided by 4, which would also be, we've taken 2,000 and divided it into four equal parts. So thank you for joining me today to learn how to multiply fractions by whole numbers to solve a real-world problem. And that's the magic of math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and come back soon.